January 3rd, 2017, and this video is called Fukushima Google Maps Japanese Fir Tree Defects. Now, in 2015, they did a study of the surrounding area around the nuclear power plants, the native Japanese fir trees, and they produced this study, and here is the abstract of it. As of January 15th, they uh, documented the surrounding areas around the Fukushima Daiichi plant in this report called Morphological Defects in Native Japanese Fir Trees around the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Plant they created this report. In the abstract, it states that after the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in March of 2011, much attention has been paid to the biological consequences of the released radionuclides into the surrounding area. They investigated the morphological changes in Japanese fir, a native Japanese endemic conifer, at the locations near the nuclear power plant. Now, Japanese fir populations near the power plant showed a significant increase number of morphological defects involving deletions of leader shoots of the main axis compared to the control population far away from the plant. The frequency of the defects correspond to the radioactive contamination levels at the observation sites. A significant increase in deletions of the leader shoots became apparent in those that were elongated after the spring of 2012, a year after the accident. These results suggest the possibility of a contamination by radionuclides contributing to the morphological defects of these Japanese fir trees in that area. Okay, so now here is the street view. There is Fukushima right there. These are the streets that they, they mapped out. And first of all, I want to give a heads up to whoever rode those cars around these streets right across from the meltdowns, which is unbelievable. You couldn't pay me enough to uh, do that job. So I give them a heads up. Maybe it was those uh, um, Google cars that don't have uh, drivers in them. I hope so. so. I thought I was going to cruise around the city and try to find these double mutated dandelions that they were talking about. So here's some daylilies I found actually. See the daylilies right there? But you can't get that close. But when I was looking at the daylilies, this is what I've noticed. Now the street view, you can go back dates. For some reason, they only have July of 2013 they cruised past here, and then 2015. So this is what I noticed. I was looking in here, and look in this area right over here. This is the tree that I discovered. Now, I'm pretty sure these are the fir trees that they were talking about. So, check this out. So, there is the view there. 2013 and notice the tree to the left so now you go to 2015 and the tree is dead right here but here is the fir defect see it up in the tree here the central leader is missing that's what I noticed I caught that right away so I am going to give you a close-up now. 2013, July. See the tree? Now watch it in 2015. See how it's gone? There's the wide view, if you don't believe me. 2015 with it gone and there's 2013 when they look so healthy and green look at this tree over here now this is in July it's not autumn the leaves aren't changing this is dying off right in here and within two years 
the tree is dead. And here is the central leader gone. They grow laterally. Now a plant is very complicated, almost just as complicated as humans. And for some reason, that little tip in there that is supposed to be like these guys. See how they're sta this one right here is standing straight up and this one right in here. Um, that radiation is damaging these uh, live organisms. And even if you look at in here, look at how uh, the stuff is dying off. Look how green it is. And then you have the die off right there. So now this is just one tree, actually one street that I, this is the first street I walked in. I thought I was going to walk around town and try to find those mutant dandelions, but the first street I found the defected Japanese fur. Now if you guys don't believe that this stuff is affecting humans, you guys are nuts. Now I could see why they evacuated the uh, city at this place. Now if you walk around town, it's abandoned. And there's a good reason for that. But this is just one little uh, defect that I found. And I wanted to put the video out before I kind of search for more stuff. So I would say, hey, cruise around town. Go on the Google Maps over here and see if you could find some of those mutant dandelions or mutant daylilies or deformed trees because I did it within the first 15 minutes so the increase in these genetic anomalies means something and it means within two years you could actually cruise up here and move that little uh, Within two years, that tree was dead. Now that's 2015, July. So we still have one more year that uh, the Google Maps have not been released. I don't know if they drew, drove around town over here or not. But um, that is a, a little find that I found and just wanted to document it and show you guys. It's making me sick reading about what's going on over there and it's just get ready it's just gonna get a lot worse unfortunately now this is in 2013 at the end of this road I just want you to show look how healthy this tree is it's probably I'd say about like at least a 25 30 year old tree 2013 and then let's go to 2015 we put a gate up over there and it's dying. It's probably dead right now. Mm, it's just sad. I see this world falling apart so fast as it is. All because of nuclear power. Look at as a matter of fact I did find the guy driving the Google car and it is a guy see him right there that guy's got some balls hopefully he's uh, earned his vacation and he's still around to take it between 100 and 200 trees in each location were examined for changes with the effect seen more often in the areas with higher levels of radiation 90% of the trees examined in Okuma exhibited some degree of morphological change, a number which fell to 40 and 30% in Naimi, and to less than 10% in northern Ibarakai Prefecture. The correlation between the frequency of the morphological change and the proximity to the Fukushima site and the level of radiation recorded suggests that it's likely but not yet confirmed that the changes are connected to the increase in background radiation. 
However, the report notes that this particular morphological change has been identified in other areas and could be attributed to other range of factors including environmental changes and the result of pest damage. The report states that rather by attributing this change directly to the nuclear disaster, researchers are instead presenting evidence that proves that the change is seen more often when the radiation is a contributing factor. So in other words, they can't say definitely it's from Fukushima they're only saying it most likely is from Fukushima and that's probably because of pressure from the nuclear industry I bet